Good evening, every, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Wildwood Catholic High School. Nick Costco alongside Mike Franco for the opening game of the high school basketball season. Wildwood Catholic taking on Holy Spirit tonight, the defending Cape Atlantic League champions in Wildwood Catholic. The Crusaders have a loaded roster once again, and they're, uh, they are very excited to kick off the season against another top school in Holy Spirit. Michael, bring you in here. This is a very exciting matchup to open up the season. Wildwood Catholic has two D1 prospects. And they could be a lot to handle for Holy Spirit tonight. Absolutely, Nick. Opening night, always a lot of fun. Always a lot of fun in North Wildwood here at the uh, small gymnasium of Wildwood Catholic. But you're right. Catholic is loaded this season. Taj Thweet, Jalil White, two juniors with multiple Division I offers. They're some of the top players in all of South Jersey, certainly in the Cape Atlantic League. It's going to be a big test tonight for Holy Spirit to see if they can keep up with those two key guns for the Crusaders. This broadcast is brought to you by Omer's Appliance Service and also streaming online on, 90, on the 97.3 ESPN Facebook page as they do the introductions right now. Mike, just looking at Wildwood Catholic right now, you look at Jaleel White and you also look at Taj Thweet. We just mentioned before, two Division I prospects. These guys are, are ginormous. I mean, I'm looking up at these guys. I'm, I'm looking at them. We're about 10 feet away from them. I'm looking right at it. It is truly amazing that these kids are this good and they're only juniors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, White really coming into his own last year uh, really didn't score a lot. I think he averaged about eight points a game, but there were certain games down the stretch, Nick, that he absolutely took over. Tosh Thweet, he's been a staple in the starting lineup since his freshman season, pounding the boards. He's been developing his outside shot, but why would Catholic, we should mention, they're more than just those two guys. I mean, Jacob Hopping as a junior now, he started last year as a sophomore, deadly outside shooter who actually started as a freshman at Holy Spirit, so he's got a taste of both of these teams. Jake McGonigal was a rotation player last year. Dave Zarfati, a sophomore, stepping into the starting lineup this year. So those two guys will lead the way. They also get to Sean Lopez, the Middle Township transfer, but he has to sit for 30 days. It's a good Catholic team now. It might be a better Catholic team in a couple of weeks. On the other side, Holy Spirit, they have, the, they have their big man, and Isaiah Garina. He played football. We know he's a force. He could be the key tonight for the Holy Spirit. Isaiah Garina, big body down low. You know, Christian Kalinowski, Jake LaMonica, those two guys got some big minutes last year. Big Joe Glenn in the middle. We'll see. It's going to be a handful to keep up with Catholic, but Spirit will do its best. So we're underway here. First quarter underway. Wildwood Catholic, Holy Spirit, Wildwood Catholic with the opening tip. This will be White now on the far side of the court. Now it's hopping, the sharpshooter. Wildwood Catholic loves to score in bunches. We'll see what they can do down low here with Thweet as he drives the lane, puts one up, and that one's blocked and hit out of bounds. But possession will be maintained for Wildwood Catholic. Good defense so far for Holy Spirit on that opening possession. Good help defense, too. Thweet was sort of navigating the lane there. It was both Glenn and Jarena able to close down on him, force the ball to go out of bounds. Wildwood Catholic will inbound the ball. This is going to be White driving the lane, whistle up, and that one goes in, count it, and the foul. And early on, Wildwood Catholic showing off their physicality. Absolutely, White able to take the contact, go glass, get two. I think uh, the diehard fans at Wildwood Catholic here would tell you that also helps to have those soft rims down here, but certainly take nothing away from White. That's a big time move, and like we talked about off of the top, that's kind of the thing that Spirit's going to have their hands full. He can put the ball on the floor, he can also stroke it from the outside as he misses the and one. Thweet with the rebound and the putback, and it's going to be 4-0. Wildwood Catholic, just 30 seconds gone here in the first quarter. Each quarter, eight minutes here. As now Holy Spirit with Giorgio bringing it up the floor. Some swarming defense there from Wildwood Catholic. Holy Spirit will maintain possession. McGonigal in on that tip. McGonigal, a six-foot-one senior. He'll defend the inbound pass here from La Monica. No inbound, this is Glenn, and his pass is away, but recovered by Kalinowski. He'll find Jarena. Really nowhere to go, though. Spirit having a tough time getting through the perimeter as the shot clock winds down now. Here's Jarena. He'll hand it off. Kalinowski trying to drive the lane, dishes it out. Back the other way. This is going to be Glenn. Back over to Kalinowski, wants Jarena, he wants a three in the left wing, got it, banked it in. Isaiah Jarena nails a three, and now it's four to three, Wildwood Catholic. Great defense from the Crusaders, you just have to tip your cap if Garina's going to be banking in threes all night. This will be White now, the top of the key, he'll try to drive the lane, he's going to come on in, lay one up, and in it goes. Beautiful move by Jaleel White. 
He recently received an offer from Temple, as well as his teammate Taj Thweet. Holy Spirit trails 6-3 with 6-12 to play here in the first quarter. This is Jarena now over on the left wing. Going to find Kalinowski. Ball is loose, a scramble for it. And coming with it is Wildwood Catholic. Here's Tweet coming up, and him out on the floor with 5.58 remaining here in the first quarter. It's Wildwood Catholic 8, Holy Spirit 3. Nick had a chance to stop by Wildwood Catholic practice earlier this week, and you know these guys can score. You know White and Thweet. Uh, you know these guys like McGonagall and, and Hopping too, they're going to get their buckets, but what head coach Dave Deweese was really preaching was defense and rebounding. Now they haven't had a lot of chances to rebound so far, but the defense has been there. You saw McGonagall get on the ground there. That's what he has to do to be successful. He's going to get a couple points tonight, but he's going to make those hustle plays. He's going to run the offense. He's going to play scrappy on defense. He was able to get on the ground, come up with that steal, and from there it's off to the races. White and three to two-man fast break and Thweet finishes with the jam. That's quite a scary combination coming out of you, to say the least, when you have two six foot six, six foot seven guys coming out of you. So Holy Spirit will inbound the ball, coming back the other way. Should be Kalinowski. He's defended tight by hopping. Loose ball picked up by Jarena. Holy Spirit will maintain possession here. 5.45 to play in the first quarter. 8-3, Wildwood Catholic. Glenn now trying to find a man. That pass almost picked off, missing the layup. And that'll eventually go in, and Holy Spirit cuts the lead back down to three. Isaiah Jarena crashing the offensive glass there. The big body gets it to go. Thweet immediately wanted a foul, could not get the lay in, and Holy Spirit comes back the other way. This is Glenn now in the corner, thought about a three. And now they'll dish it around. Here's Kalinowski driving the lane. That pass goes out of bounds and nearly hit us, actually, here in the corner. And now Wildwood Catholic will take it over as Hopping will inbound the ball. My old coaches would say I didn't have my feet set. I wasn't ready for that catch, Nick. I wasn't in a triple threat position there, but that's what the Crusader defense will do to you. They're going to run around. They're going to try to force turnovers. They're able to do so there. Well, let's go think and hit the door. Here's White now dishing it over. Finds Zarfati, but he'll get it back over to White as they'll try to reset the offense here. Under five to play in the first quarter. 8-5 Wildwood. Hopping now. Try to drive the lane, going baseline, putting it up, and a, almost a slam attempt there from Thweet. That ball goes out of bounds into the seats. Thweet would have brought the house down with a two-handed slam, but he missed it. You know, Catholic does. They run a lot of backdoor lobs for Taj Thweet. He's usually a very good finisher around the rim. I think that pass just a little bit too high. He didn't really catch it successfully cleanly, and he was able to not really knock it down right at the rim. Taj Thweet, only a junior, just picked up an offer from Seton Hall. Three on the way, no good. Missing that LaMonica. Gain the rebound is Glenn. He can't get it to go. Tipped back in by LaMonica. Nice hustle play from the Spartans. 8-7 now. Catholic out in front. Spirit surviving that early wave from Catholic right in this game here. Long three for a hopping, and he drills it. 11-7. Catholic on top now. 4-11 to play in the first. Hopping suffered an ankle injury near the end of the season last year. Was not available for the state tournament. He's back in full force. Six foot three junior looking to make a big impact from downtown. There's Jarena for three, no good. Rebounded there by Glenn, trying to put one back up. No good, rebounded by Thweet. And Wildwood Catholic will take over after the foul. Holy Spirit down by four early here, Nick, but really scrappy on the offensive glass. And conversely, Wildwood Catholic not really putting a body on people when those shots go up. So I know that'll be something Dave DeWeese will address during the next time out or the quarter change. But Spirit, you know, they're missing some shots early on, but give them credit. The Spartans are crashing, getting second, sometimes third opportunities. McGonagall trying to find a move, and he gets over to Hoppy for a long three. He's fouled on the way on the shot as that one's off the mark. 3.42 to play here in the first quarter, and it looks like Hoppy will go to the line. Hopping really is that deadly outside threat for Wildwood Catholic. White can knock it down. He prefers to get to the rim. Obviously, Thweet's been working on his jumper a little bit. Jake McGonagall doesn't really take a lot of jump shots, but, you know, Jacob Hopping, he can knock him down from out there. You have to get up on him, and that time a little bit too close. He'll nail the first one of three as Jacob Hopping look for him to be shooting threes all night. Second one is down and through. 13-7, some subs coming on for Wildwood Catholic. And you have Ben Church coming in for Zarfat, for Dave Zarfati.
Hopping for his first, or third three throw, rather. Put that one down, 14-7. Wow, with Catholic out in front, under four to play here in the first quarter. Full court press on for the Crusaders as Jareen has trouble handling the ball, and Catholic will pick it back up. Here's Hopping the other way. Finds Thweet, going to slam one down. Oh, he missed it. Taj Thweet had a one-handed slam. Ball slipped, and the Spartans come back the other way. Kalinowski wants a three off the mark. Rebounded up there by Thweet as a pile down there for Wildwood Catholic. But here's Hopping the other way. Take a jumper from the free throw line. No good. And it's rebounded and put one back up by Church. No good. And the Spartans will take over. Whistle on the floor. 3.07 to play first quarter. I'll tell you what, McGonigal going up for that defensive rebound. Came down hard. Then he had some bodies come down on top of him. He's trying to shake out the cobwebs right now. But you got to love the effort from the senior guard trying to battle in there. He didn't come up with the rebound, but he certainly helped his team. Just heard Taj Thweet overheard him on the floor. His hand, the ball keeps slipping out of his hands. Might want to chalk him up a bit. Here's Kalinowski for the Spartans. This it over to Glenn now. Glenn, the six foot eight center on the outside, and he almost lost the ball. Has to get rid of it. Kalinowski cannot handle it. Good defense here from Hopping. Here comes Kalinowski driving the lane. Picked off now. This is White the other way, and we have a whistle on the floor. Looks like this foul is going to be on Wildwood Catholic. Excuse me, I'd rather that will be on Christian Kalinowski, the six-foot junior for Holy Spirit. So Catholic will inbound the ball with McGonagall back on the other side of the floor. Now White will take it up for the Crusaders with 2.36 to play in the first quarter. A 14-7 lead for Catholic. They've been explosive so far. McGonagall now. Take his time on the left wing. Makes a man makes a man miss. Here's White now driving the lane. Done this one off. Put one up is Church, and he's got it. Added two points for Ben Church, and it's 16-7 now. Catholic out in front. Church able to take some contact down there, too. That could have easily been an and-one situation, but he springs off the bench and gets two on the inside. Jack Sella in for the Spartans. It's Jarena now on the right wing. You get it back out to Kalinowski. Looking for somewhere to go. He's got Giorgio. And now Giorgio lost the ball, picked away. And now it's McGonagall back up the floor for the Crusaders. He's coming on in, almost slipped. Once Church for a three, no good. And White can't crowd the rebound. Here comes Jarena back the other way for Holy Spirit. So a quick sequence there, but Spirit trailing by nine here. Here's Jarena trying to drive the baseline, passes off the foot. Looks like it's a tip ball, and it'll be Wildwood Catholic ball after the kick ball violation. You know, it's interesting, Nick, with Holy Spirit, Isaiah Jarena on most teams would be that body down low, but Spirit featuring Joe Glenn, who's even taller down there. Jarena's got a nice touch from the outside, so we've already seen Isaiah Jarena work more outside the arc. That time, able to beat his man off the dribble, and you have the kick ball. Thank you, pardon. It's Holy Spirit bar. Giorgio will inbound. It's got Sella underneath now. This is Nolan, who's just entered the game. Now Sella wants a straightaway three off the mark, and that one's tipped around, rebounded. Nice job there by Nolan, but another loose ball here. Back out to Jarena now. After a bunch of scrambles for the ball. Jarena now wants a right wing three off the mark. Rebounded by White. And when Jaleel White's hanging around the rim, it'll be tough for Holy Spirit to rebound the ball. Hopping, right wing three. Got it! Jacob Hopping. All cotton for him, and it's 19-7. While with Catholic, 105 to play in the first. Just way too much room to give Jacob Hopping on the outside. We talked about it earlier. You need to be with him outside the arc. No one drives baseline and he lays it in. 19 to 9 now. Crusaders out in front. Zarfati back in the game for a while with Kathy. He'll dish it over to Jaleel White. And now White will take his time. Sella guarding him. White driving through. Puts one up off the glass and does not go. Jarena the rebound for Holy Spirit. And he'll dish it over to Giorgio. With 33 seconds to play in the first quarter, a 19-9 lead for Wildwood Catholic. Jarena now on the right wing, got a whistle on the floor, and it'll be a foul on Wildwood Catholic. Big possession here for Holy Spirit. You're down by 10. You've kind of tried to weather the early storm here, but if you can hold for one, make it a single-digit deficit heading to the second, you give yourself that much more confidence. Giorgio in there on the ball, looking for Jarena. That one's tapped away by Hopping. Hopping going after it, but a nice job there by Kalinowski for Holy Spirit to get the ball back. They'll come the other way. Kalinowski, what a hustle play. He lays one in, 19 to 11 now. Catholics still out in front. Here's White now for the Crusaders. Loose ball. He wanted a foul. Spirit now with the ball again, and Kalinowski 
Lost the ball out of bounds, but it's a foul on Jacob Hopping. So with 10.7 seconds to play in the first quarter, Holy Spirit keeping themselves in this game with some physical defense on the other side there, Mike. Absolutely. The heck with holding for one. They got two, and now they're going to have a chance to get two more heading to the second. Here's Kolonowski for the Spartans on the right wing now, trying to drive around a screen. Wants a jumper. That one was partially blocked, but a foul. Now Kolonowski, I got to say, he's my early game MVP for Holy Spirit. He's been all over the place. The hustle plays on defense, and then the effort on that last possession to come back from the other side of the court, laid one in for the two, and now he's here at the line. He's done a nice job, you know, trying – to, to settle his team down. We talked about it off at the top. Kalinowski and LaMonica are really the two wing players that are back from last year's team. Holy Spirit had a couple, really three, four-year varsity players that have since graduated. So these are now going to be the guys. Kalinowski is a junior. Jake LaMonica is a senior. But those are the guys that have to settle things down in the backcourt. Even if they're not handling the basketball, they have to calm down the younger guards. And Kalinowski has been able to do a nice job of that so far. Kalinowski nails both the line. White's going to inbound it. And now Wildwood Catholic, a desperation he from Zarfati is off the mark. So at the end of the first quarter, it's Wildwood Catholic 19, Holy Spirit 13. I got to say, Mike, you look at what Jaleel White and Tyler Speed bring to the table for Wildwood Catholic. Holy Spirit's done a very nice job of defending the two best players for the Crusaders. Yeah, that's the thing, though, Nick. I mean, you, you focus in on those two guys, and you're right. They got the first eight points of the game. They have four and four. But then it was the Jacob Hopping show. He hit two threes. He got fouled on another attempt, hit all three free throws. So he's that third option, which is really what makes Wildwood Catholic so tough. I mean, you sink down, you do a nice job on Thweet and White, and a guy like Hopping can start to, to light it up from the outside. But, you know, Spirit, we, we talked about it. They did a nice job settling in there. This could have easily been, you know, a 12, 13, 14-point game after one quarter of play. But... You know, the battling on the road here, you have guys like Kalinowski and LaMonica and Jarena, too, doing a nice job. Not a lot of turnovers in that first quarter, which is always good when you're in a hostile environment here on the road in Wildwood Catholic. One thing you mentioned before I thought was interesting, Mike, when you mentioned Isaiah Jarena for Holy Spirit. He's a big man. He's a tight end in football. You would think of him as a back down, a forward guy who's going to back it down the post, lay one in. This guy's taking threes, and if it weren't for, for some tight defense from the Crusaders, he might be nailing these with all cotton. Yeah, I think Jamie Gillespie doesn't mind him taking those threes. He's got a nice touch. I think what Gillespie wants is him to crash the boards a little bit more and, you know, help out Joe Glenn down there. We talked about it, and you mentioned Jarena, much wider body than Glenn, so he's going to be able to bang down there a little bit better. You don't mind him taking those shots, but you need that stuff on the inside too. He's done a nice job sort of towing that line, straddling that line so far. So Holy Spirit with the ball here, down six in the start of the second quarter. Then there's that man, Jarena. A fine Kolonowski, guarded by McGonagall. Right here in the corner of La Monica, some slaps. Here's Georgia now, thought about a three. Long two for him off the mark and rebounded by Jaleel White. He's going to find Zarfati now. Back over to White. He's double teamed, trying to lay one up. No good. Second attempt at it, no good again. Rebounded by Jarena. White somehow got the ball back and he lays one in. No foul. What an effort by Jaleel White. Somehow got his own ball back. And now Holy Spirit will turn it over, trailing 21 13. The Crusaders back with the ball already. That's why a guy like a Jalil White gets those Division I looks, almost has springs for feed. I mean, he got one, two, what, three offensive rebounds on that trip down, just simply leaping over the other kids on the floor and finally able to get his bucket. He will not be denied here. Another whistle on the floor, and it's going to be a foul on whole, or excuse me, Wildwood Catholics. So now Spirit will take over possession, trailing by eight with 7-17 to play here in the first half. Looks like they're going to get Ben Church on that one, away from the ball, as you mentioned, trying to clear some space down low. Church a couple points off of the bench in that first quarter. Georgia to bring it up for the Spartans. He's guarded by White. Back over to Kolonowski. He was a key cog in the first quarter. Here's Jarena, thought about a three, fakes one. Back at the Giorgio, coming on in, looking for a screen. Here's Kolonowski, wants a three, left wing, got it! Christian Kolonowski adds three to his total, 21-16. Holy Spirit only trails by five. Kalinowski shooting his team right back into this game. It looks like the Spartans will come out man-to-man -man here in the second quarter. We saw a little bit of zone from them. They mixed it up in the first. Jaleel White thought about it three. He is stripped but a foul. And it looks like they're going to get Holy Spirit for the reach-in. And now Jacob Hopping will check back in for the Crusaders. Ben Church will go to the bench. Nice effort by him. And he's greeted with handshakes from head coach Dave DeWeese. Solid effort by Church there off the bench, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. Able to get a couple early points there to help his team out. Here's McGonagall now. 
There's Thweet for three. It'll rattle in. 24-16, Taj Thweet. Just mentioned he picked up an offer from Seton Hall. He's going to try to find his rhythm here in the second quarter. You could probably count on one hand, Nick, how many threes Thweet took the last two years. You're going to see a lot more of that out of him this year as he projects as kind of that three at the next level. He's really been developing a shot. LaMonica, oh, cotton for him, and holy spirit. Cuts the lead back down to five. He answers with a three of his own. That's McGonagall in the right corner. One and a three, no good. And Jarena go for the rebound, cannot get it. Three picks it back up. This dishes it over to Hopping, puts one up. Got it in the foul. Jacob Hopping, you see what the impact he makes on this basketball team. Sharp shooter, but can get you those dirty points down low. Hopping showing some emotion. I mean, it had to be tough watching his team play on the playoffs last year. He's on the bench with a bum ankle. You know, he's taking his frustration out almost, if you will, on the Spartans to start the new season. Hoppy will go to the line for the old school three-point play here. 26-19, Catholic on top. He'll miss that free throw, and it's going to be corralled by Spirit. Here's Kolonowski now up the floor for Holy Spirit. Over to Giorgio, right wing three. Oh, down it goes, Giorgio. Cuts the lead down to four. Jaleel White trying to drive the link is denied, and it's going to be picked up by Georgia. Holy Spirit. Their sharpshooters are keeping them in this ball game. Down only four, five and have to play in the first half. A lot of confidence from Giorgio the last time down. He didn't think twice about jacking it up, and it was all cotton. Thought about another one. Here's Kolonowski now looking for a screen. Long two for him. In that one goes. Look at this. Holy Spirit has cut the lead down to two, and Dave DeWeese wants a timeout, and there's a standing ovation from the Holy Spirit section. 26-24, Crusaders on top, 5.20 to play here in the second quarter. Absolutely what the Spartans need to stay in this game. Some timely shooting. They get some back-to-back -back buckets, one from three, one a deep two. They pressure on the defensive end. You look up, and they're just down by two. I mean, look, we talked about it. There is a talent discrepancy, especially with those top two guys for Wildwood Catholic, but Spirit working very well as a team right now. They're finding the open man out there, and they got some guys knocking it down. Two guys I want to point out for Holy Spirit. You have Christian Kolonowski and Santino Giorgio. These guys are nailing shots from every which way, and they have three guys in their face. Yeah, Kolonowski with nine early points. That was, you know, Giorgio's first field goal. He's done a nice job as the floor general out there, but he has three. Jarena has five. LaMonica with five. Nolan with two off the bench. So balanced scoring for Holy Spirit. And like we talked about, they're sharing the basketball. These guys don't mind who gets the shot as long as it's an open shot. And that's easier said than done against a team like Wildwood Catholic, but they're finding that open spot on the floor and knocking it down so far. That's a recipe for a possible upset on the road. Holy Spirit playing the total team game so far, only trailing by two. This is a heavy favorite in Wildwood Catholics. Definitely the favorite to repeat in the Cape Atlantic League. McGonagall will take it up the floor. Can't miss him with those neon green shoes. Got to point that out as well. Jaleel White now will hand it back off to McGonagall. Six foot one senior, finds Zarfati. Now it's Taj Thweet. White along the right wing, looking for a lane, trying to drive in. Finds Zarfati in the left corner, got it! Dave Zarfati, the six foot sophomore, drills the three and puts Catholic back up by five. Yeah, and Spirit by design, paying a lot of attention to White and Thweet there, really humping in the lane, you know, kind of hugging against the, the outside of the lane there leaves a guy like Zarfati wide open on the outside. Monica trying to drive inside. Triple team blocked away by three. What a rejection. Here comes White now. Well, this shit over to Zarfati. Back out to three. Wants a three. No good. Rebounded by White. Trying to put one back up. Puts it up. Got it. Jaleel White puts the Crusaders back up by seven. And that two-point def uh, two deficit back up to seven for Holy Spirit. They have some work to do here. In the final four minutes of the first half. Here's Sella now along in the corner. And we got a foul on Wildwood Catholic. This one's going to be on McGonagall. So the Spartans will maintain possession here. Looked like the officials may have changed their minds there. I saw the hand go up for a foul. You're right. But they're going to say it just went off of McGonagall's knee. So sideline out of bounds to the Spartans. Sella's to inbound and throw it all the way back to Jarena. He's going to drive in himself. Got it back out to LaMonica. He wants a long one, and that one's no good. Off the mark, and a scramble for the ball. Who's got it? And they're going to rule it in favor of Holy Spirit. Dave DeWeese can't believe it. He saw the ball go off of 
a spirit player, but they have a rule that goes off a of Catholic, so Spartans with the basketball. Game of runs so far, Nick. You saw a run from Holy Spirit to get back in to close within two. Wow, a Catholic comes back with a run of its own to make it a seven-point game. Georgie now out to Kolonowski. Wants a three off the mark. Rebounded by Thweet. Thweet now over to White. He'll take it up the floor. Has McGonagall in the corner. Back out to White. Fakes, and now we have another whistle. He'll get called for the travel. Jaleel White can't believe it. But Holy Spirit takes back over with possession. Down by seven, 341 to play in the first half. That's his game, though, that slashing game, trying to beat his man off the dribble, either finish on the inside or facilitate for one of his teammates. Just kind of got started a little too quickly there. Got to put the ball down before you take a step. Here's Jarena now, driving out to Sella. Thought about a three, coming inside baseline, lay one up, and in it goes. How about Jack Sella, the 5'10 junior? Laying one up over Thweet. And now it's 31-26. You nailed it over three, the toughest part of that. That's not your average body down there. You had to hoist that up almost like a teardrop to get that over him. Zarfati almost thought he'd travel, but now it's going to be McGonagall nailing one from the free throw line. And it's back up to a seven-point lead for Catholic. Holy Spirit wanted the travel. I'll tell you what, Mike, it did look like Zarfati took an extra step over there. And that shot from McGonagall, too, that's going to be his game. He's going to be left open for those elbow jumpers, those deep twos, if he can knock them down. Catholic becomes that much more dangerous. Kolonowski now looking for an opening, trying to find a man. He's going to find Giorgio, right wing three. Yes, sir! San Antonio, Santino Giorgio, excuse me, nails another three, and it's 33-29. So much for opening night jitters. Both of these teams shooting at a very high clip right now. Giorgio in his senior season, not letting anything go there as McGonagall puts one up, and he is fouled on the way up. Looks like he'll go to the line for two. As Catholic leads by four with two and a half to play here in the first half. You have to love the confidence from McGonagall so far. He was a rotation player, as we mentioned last year, but with so many weapons, you know, the Fields brothers who have since graduated, you had Thweet, you had White. He'd be lucky if he got one field goal attempt a game, but, and that was his role. I mean, they didn't necessarily want him shooting a lot, but it's a different ball game this year. He's a starter. He's going to have to take some shots, and you've seen some confidence there, not only knocking the last one down, but getting his guy up in the air and drawing the foul. Tell you what, Coach Dave DeWeese has instilled confidence in every single one of these guys. No one's afraid to take a shot. McGonagall nails the first free throw. Catholic now back up by five. LaMonica will check back in for Holy Spirit. And Sarfati for Catholic will go to the bench as Ben Church checks back in. Short rotation for Wildwood Catholic as McGonagall nails the second free throw. They're up by six now. Church, the only substitute that has come on tonight for the Crusaders. And we talked about Deshaun Lopez. That bench will get a little deeper, but right now, as you mentioned, Dewey's keeping it tight. Kolonowski misses the three, but it's rebounded there by Glenn, but he is fouled on the way up. So Holy Spirit will get a chance at the charity strike as they trail by six. Glenn Joe. still just a junior, excuse me, Nick, and it looks like he's put on a couple pounds of muscle from last year. I mean, he was a wiry frame last year. Still got some minutes on the varsity level because of his size, and he helped out the Spartans down low. But he's put on some muscle. That's going to help him in the rebounding department this season. They'll miss the first free throw, and definitely when you're, when you're Glenn and you're standing at 6'8", they say, hey, go guard Taj Thweet. <laughs> he's got to put your big man on the other big man. Referee giving some instructions over to players here on the left side trying to stay in their lane. Both free throws missed and Thweet gets the rebound. 2.15 to play in the first half. Nice pass by Hopping out to Magago. Now Jaleel White trying to slash in. Finds Church, Hopping now, top of the key. Nowhere to go, thought about a three, lays one up for Thweet and now he's gonna slam one down with two hands for safety. 37-29, Taj Thweet puts the Crusaders back up by eight. Here's a three ball for LaMonica. He is fouled into the seats. And Thweet can't believe it as he tried to hold off contact, but LaMonica takes the contact. He'll go to the line for three free throws at the line. As you can see on the video, I mean, you know, if you've never been to this gym, just take a look at the video. The, the lines are tight. Fans are right there, you know, almost on the court. As I'm looking around, most people's shoes are on the court. So as a shooter, you know when you're going up, you're going to get some contact, either from the fan behind you or a body flying across. It just feels... It is, in a way, very much so a smaller court as you have the double line in the middle. But even, 
you know, the three-point arcs to the sides, Nick. It just feels like there's not as much room there, so you have a lot more, ch more chance to see contact and see shooting fouls. Definitely an interesting home court advantage for the Crusaders. Lamanca nails the first two. He'll nail all three. So it is now 37-32 to 32, as they cut the lead back down to five. Sweet and White will take it up the floor for the Crusaders. Under two to play here in the first half as Catholic leads by five. Here's McGonagall now. On the left wing, over to White. Guarded by Kolonowski. Here's Sweet now trying to back him down, back out to White. White thought about a three, but now it pulls back. White dishing around. Triple team puts one up, no good. And Catholic gets the rebound, hopping left wing three, way off the mark. And Kolonowski gets the rebound, and the Spartans will come back at the floor. Kolonowski taking it himself, coast to coast, no good. Thweet now gets the rebound back out to White. Here comes Julio White, lays one up, and in it goes. 39-32, Wildwood Catholic on top. 1-10 to play in the first half. Instant offense, Thweet outlet to White. Say goodnight. Sellers pass knocked out of bounds, but Spirit will keep the ball here. Sell only a 5'10 junior. He'll inbound it to Kolonowski. He's guarded by Hoppe. Got a screen. Kolonowski back out to Glenn. He wants a three off the mark. Rebound by McGonagall. Tough rebound. Oh, go across the court to Thweet, but he cannot corral in the pass. And that'll go out of bounds. And you can hear Coach Dave DeWeese. Two hands for Taj Thweet. I think he went for the style points there, Mike. Yeah, tremendous pass by McGonagall. Almost tried to anticipate where Thweet was going to be, and it hit him right in the hands. But just trying to do too much at once, wasn't able to gather it and go up. They had a football team. I think McGonagall might be in the running for quarterback. Got Nolan now for Spirit. He'll dish it around. Here's Kolonowski. Thought about it. Three going to drive in. Back over to Nolan. Top of the key. Giorgio for three. Off the mark. Rebounded by White. 34 seconds to go. White now driving the lane, going to take it himself. Reverse layup, no good, but a foul on the way up. What a move by Jaleel White. Could not finish, but if you're Spirit, all you can do right there is foul. That's right. He's so crafty at the rim. I mean, he slices through the lane, and we talked about that's just the biggest part of his game. He's developing his outside jumper, and he can knock it down from time to time, but his game is slicing and just so creative trying to get looks in the lane with so many bodies around him. First one will bounce in, and it's 40-32 to 32 now, an eight-point lead for the Crusaders. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Exciting first half. Closer one than we might have thought as Holy Spirit's hanging in there. Second free throw for White is good. Glenn will have to inbound it for Spirit. And nice defense from McGonagall, but he touched it last. Spirit will keep the ball. Catholic going full court pressure here, trying to force a turnover or two to close out the half. They'll bring Sella into inbound and now for the Spartans. They'll find Giorgio. He'll have to come off the floor now, hopping on him. Here's Glenn now, long two, and it's going to rattle in. And the Spirit will cut the lead to seven. White up the floor. Could be the last possession of the first half. White hanging on to himself. Under 10 to go. White. Going to drive the lane, going to lay one up, and in it goes. 43-34. Kolonowski never spirit. Lost the ball. White, desperation shot, won't count, and it doesn't matter. But at the half, it is 43-34. Wildwood Catholic. A Holy Spirit trailing by as, less, as little as two earlier in this half. But Catholic able to pull away a bit. But we got ourselves a good game so far, Mike. Absolutely, Nick. Spirit really able to hang in. We didn't know what we were going to see from the Spartans. Hit hard by graduation. Not a lot of rotation guys coming back, but they've they've hung with Catholic. And you've seen Catholic counterpunch when Spirit came within two. Then the Crusaders were able to stretch that lead back out a little bit. Still just a nine-point game, so very much still up in the air going into the second half. Definitely going to be an exciting half coming forward. We're going to take a quick break for halftime. We'll see you in a bit for the second half. Wildwood Catholic on top, 43-34 to on Holy Spirit. You're listening to High School Basketball, sponsored by Omer's Appliance Service and streaming line online at 97.3 ESPN Facebook Live. Mike Franco alongside Nick Costco. We'll see you for the second half, 43-34. Wildwood Catholic on top of Holy Spirit.
What's up this year by the TV screen? What's that booth up there? Is it on Facebook? Is it on Facebook at all or no? I'm saying if you go on, if you go on the ESPN Facebook page, you can. Like, that's the opening basket. You know? Now, does, uh, does Pete do any work for you at basketball season or just football? Not really. Pete's doing less and less to these by his teaching his year. That's why he, that's why he still has hits for like, he did during football season. Yeah. Hits for us on uh, Monday nights. One got yanked though, right? Like maybe somebody pulled a contract early or something? Might have been the one that I used to do on Monday night. It could have been. It was, that, it was in the down bar, right? Or yeah, because he was doing, I think it was at one of those, uh, it was at one of those bars in AC where he was doing hits. Yeah. yeah he was out there, it was, it was a promo event, but he was, he would call it to right. Josh Deshaun's show. Yeah. Yeah. 
Here is Hopping now to take it out for the Crusaders. She'll find McGonagall on the right wing. Guarded by Giorgio McGonagall, looking for someone to go underneath the Thweet now. Guarded by Glenn, puts one up and he is fouled. Shot does not go, but Thweet will go to the line. So already, Holy Spirit, if you can't block him, might as well foul him and force him to beat you on the free throws. Temple assistant coach Aaron McKee in the house tonight to check out two of his recruits, Thweet and White. Thweet nails the first one, and now the Crusaders are up by 10. That'd be fascinating, Mike. I mean, these two, these two kids are only juniors, but if they should go to the same school, I think Temple will be glad to have these two guys. Short drive for McKee. Temple was uh, practicing at Boardwalk Hall earlier to get ready for a game against Davidson tomorrow, so shorter than usual recruiting trip for McKee. Thweet nails both free throws, and now... Kolonowski takes it out for Holy Spirit. Here's Jarena, right wing three, no good. Rebounded by Thweet. They'll hand it off to McGonagall. And now the Crusaders look to extend their lead. That ball kicked around and out of bounds it goes. But Catholic will maintain possession after a couple deflections. So now the Crusaders will reset the offense here as Zarfati will inbound it. Now it's hopping in the corner. Back to Zarfati. Now White. McGonagall left wing underneath to Thweet, and he lost the ball going out of bounds. Nice defense there by Joe Glenn. Dave DeWeese wanted McGonagall to dribble that down to the corner more before he tried that entry pass to Thweet. Thweet wasn't quite set. Took two bounces and skipped out of bounds. Full court press on for a while. But here's Kolonowski taking it himself. Long jumper, and in and out it goes. Thweet with the rebound finds White now. He'll take it up the floor. Hopping along the baseline off the glass, no good, but Thweet is there for the putback. And it's now a 13-point lead for Wildwood Catholic. Largest lead of the night, here's Giorgio. Here's the floater, he got it on the runner. We'll cut the lead back down to 11, seven minutes to play here in the third quarter. Nice shot there from Giorgio. I was just about to say, if you're Holy Spirit, you don't want to get caught in a track meet here. What you did slowing things down in the first half worked, but throw that out the window when you're making shots. Well, shimmy move there from White, but cannot nail the jumper. Jarena, the rebound, finds Kolonowski. Once Jarena, back over to Kolonowski. He's guarded by White. He'll drive, and he almost got through, but a nice play there by McGonagall, but he's going to get called for the foul. Otherwise, Kolonowski made a nice move to the hoop, but he'll go to the line now. Take that back. No free throws. Giorgio will inbound it for the Holy Spirit Spartans. Giorgio finds Kolonowski, wants a right wing three off the mark, but rebounded there by Monica. But coming back the other way, here's Thweet. Wants a runner, got it, laid it in for two. 49-36, your score, as Catholic's defense hunkered down after the foul. High percentage finish there from Thweet. He missed a couple of dunks in that first half. I know Dave DeWeese wasn't thrilled about it. Much higher percentage finish. Here's a steal by White. He wants a dunk. Slammed it down with one hand. Jaleel White, the highlight reel dunk and a timeout from Holy Spirit as the largest lead of the night now for the Crusaders at 15. 6.07 to play here in the third quarter. You just had the feeling that this might happen, Nick. I mean, Wildwood Catholic, very talented team coming in. Give Holy Spirit a lot of credit, able to hang right there in the first half. But some minor adjustments at halftime by head coach Dave DeWeese. And just like that, you snap your fingers, and it's 15-point lead less than two minutes into the third quarter. You saw on the replay a fantastic finish there from Jaleel White in the one-handed slam. One of the better dunks you'll see in this game. Could be all season. That was very impressive. And you mentioned before, Mike, Holy Spirit was able to slow the game down in the first half and play some very tight defense. 
And they even cut the lead down to two at one point, but now you see the speed and the athleticism is starting to take over for Wildwood Catholic. Yeah, if you're Holy Spirit, you simply don't want to get caught in a track meet, as I mentioned. I mean, White and Thweet can get up and down the floor. If those guys aren't finishing, they can kick it to Hopping or even McGonagall or even a guy like Zarfati on the outside. So if you're Holy Spirit, you have to try to slow the pace down a little bit. I know that's tough, as especially as a high school player. When things are going fast, you want to go fast with it. But guys like Kalinowski and LaMonica have to get a hold of these guys and say, hey, let's slow it down, let's run our stuff, let's play a half-court game. Giorgio's pass goes out of bounds, and Wildwood Catholic will take over. He was looking for LaMonica on the right corner. Now the Crusaders will take over as Hopping. Under six to play in the third quarter, Giorgio guarding McGonagall. McGonagall, tight defense there from Giorgio, finds Hopping underneath his tweet. We got a foul, and it's on Holy Spirit. You're seeing Thweet work more in the post this half. We talked about how he's going to be sort of drifting out and taking more jumpers this season, but he's also that big body they need in the post, and he's been carving out some space early on here in the third. Thweet got his own missed shot back and lays it in for the two. 53-36, to 17-point lead again. Largest lead of the night for Wildwood Catholic. Here's Giorgio. Giorgio nearly lost a good defense from Zarfati. Giorgio spinning around, finds Glenn, long two, got it. All cotton for Joe Glenn. Hopping answers with a three, no good. Rebounded by Jarena. Holy Spirit trying to cut the lead down. Giorgio now double team, gets by Hopping, wants the floater, got it. Santino, Giorgio, impressive all night. His shots are all cotton or they're missed entirely. What a night for him so far. They'll cut the lead back down to 13, five to play in the third. Giorgio, he's got 10 points. That leads the way so far for Spirit. Here's White out to Hopping. Wants a straightaway three. Off the mark. Sarfati trying to get the rebound, but it's going to be picked up by White. Over in the corner is McGonagall. He'll drive baseline. He'll try to lay one up and got it. No foul, but McGonagall, a tough finish. 55 to 40. Your score now. Catholic on top. Kolonowski. Step back, Jay, and he got it, but a foul. And they're going to count it. They're going to count that step back, Jay, for Kolonowski. That's one of the more impressive shots you'll see all night. You see on the replay. <laughs> Hit as he shot it up. Very nice. Don't often get that continuation to that level here at the high school level, but you know, give credit to Kalinowski. They're able to keep his concentration and knock it down after getting fouled. And here's the chance for the three-point play. I thought they were going to blow that one dead, but he can cut the lead back down to 12 here. Free throw goes in. And it's 55 43. Thanks for joining us here. Live from Wildwood Catholic High School. Nick Costco alongside Mike Franco. Wildwood Catholic taking on Holy Spirit tonight. Sponsored by Omer's Appliance Service. Sweet to the hoop, and he got it, but don't count it. A foul on him gets called for the charge. Spirit will take back over. Four and a half to play here in the third quarter. Jarena taking the charge there, and absolutely the right call. He had position down low. Sweet put his head down, barreled right through him. Good hustle there, play there from Isaiah Jarena. Long pass to Kolonowski. He'll take it himself and tries to lay it up, but no good. Rebounded by Thweet. Thweet now finds Zarfati. Zarfati will reset, find Hopping. Hopping thought about a three. He'll drive along. He'll lay one up off the glass and in. Nice move there by Jacob Hopping. And another timeout from Holy Spirit. Wildwood Catholic puts the lead back up to 14 with 4.15 to play here in the third quarter. Another dimension of Hopping's game there, too. I mean, if you're going to run him off the line, he's capable of putting the ball down and getting to the bucket. He's able to knock down some threes in that first half, and even if he didn't knock him down, if you're Holy Spirit, you have to respect his ability to knock it down, and then he elevates his game to that next level. That's sort of that evolution of a player from year to year. He's primarily just an outside shooter last season. You're already seeing his ability to put the ball on the ground and get to the bucket. And if you're seeing this development already in the first game of the season, there's no telling what Hopping can do later in the year when it comes time to fight for the tournaments and the playoffs as well. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this Wildwood Catholic team, you know, further develops with a guy like Deshaun Lopez, who will probably come in and be a starter in this team, and he's going to make them that much better. But like we talked about, they're already good now. They could be great by the end of the year. Fascinating to think about that. White, Sweet, and Hopping are all juniors, and you mentioned Deshaun Lopez, the transfer from Middle Township. When he's ready to go, he's only a sophomore. This kind of team could be dominant for years. Here's Kolonowski now. On the corner to Sella, found Jarena on the right wing. He wants a three, and in it goes. Isaiah Jarena, the big man, knocking down the three and cuts the lead down to 11. 
just with a doctor order for the Spartans. They were really needing a bucket. A three will certainly help as they try to chip away here and get it back to single digits. So our Friday now for Catholic over to White. Under four to play in the third quarter. Here's Thweet now. He'll drive the lane, finds Zarfati. In the corner for three. Off the mark. Try to get his own rebound, but it's picked up by Jarena. Now Giorgio. Kolonowski laying one up off the glass. Got it. Thweet missed the block attempt. Lead cut down to nine. Back down to single digits. Holy Spirit still hanging around. Three and a half to play in the third quarter. Here's White now. White over to Hopping. Hopping thinking about a three, but he'll find Zarfati now. We'll swing it around. It's White. Sarfati hopping, long three, down it goes! Jacob hopping, another three-pointer for him, and the lead's back up to 12. Nick, how's this for balance from Iowa Catholic's top three players? Thweet with 17, hopping and White with 16 each. Fascinating to watch, here's Sell now double team, drive around, finds Giorgio, Giorgio trying to get by, hopping. Over to Jarena, right wing three, off the mark, airballed it. And Georgia trying to fight for the rebound. Whose ball is it? It'll be Wildwood Catholic's ball in the three minutes to play, third quarter. And, Mike, I just wanted to mention, it seems like Holy Spirit, they climb back into the game, cut it down to single digits, and once that happens, Jacob Hopping happens for Wildwood Catholic. They just have so many weapons, the Crusaders do, and we talked so much about Thweet and White off of the top, and deservedly so. They're two of the top recruits in South Jersey, if not the state, but a guy like a Jacob Hopping is going to find somewhere to play college basketball as well, a very talented high school player. And if you put too much focus on those other two guys, he'll burn you. Here's White now. Spin move, double team, puts one up, and in it goes. No foul, though. He wanted one. Nonetheless, gets the bucket to go. Lead is now 14. Jarena thought about a three. Out to LaMonica. He wants a three. No good. Rebounded by Thweet. Thweet's pass deflected. Kolonowski initially there. Now it's LaMonica. LaMonica trying to drive in over Hopping, and he gets it in to go. How about Jake LaMonica? Cuts the lead back down to 12. Catholic still on top. Here's Thweet now trying to back down the low post. Finds White. Thought about a three. He'll take it around, though. He'll back up and reset the offense. 2.05 to play here in the third quarter. Why would Catholic content with running some clock down? Here's Church now over to Hopping. Hopping looking for somewhere to go. Wants a three. In it goes. Jacob Hopping will not be denied. Another three ball for him, and it's a 15-point lead. Olenowski over to Jarena. Here's Sellers, straightaway three. Off the mark, rebounded White. Here come the Crusaders, over to Hopping. Nice pass, back over to White. He is fouled, and that time White gets a foul called. And it seems to be all Crusaders here late in the third quarter. This is trouble time for Holy Spirit, down by 15. Why would Catholic go into the line, and the Crusaders doing it from the outside and on the inside there. Heady play there from Hopping. He was running out of real estate along the baseline, kind of flicked it over the back of his head to White, and Jalil White's able to draw the foul and go to the stripe. First free throws in and out, no good. Zarfati will come on in for McGonagall, only substitution there for Wildwood Catholic. Mike, you mentioned that Holy Spirit does not want to get into a track with Wildwood Catholic. Well, in the last about minute, minute and a half, that's what it's turned into. Easier said than done. Wildwood Catholic, just tremendous athletes across the board, and doesn't matter what you want to do, they're going to do what they want, and if they want to push the pace, they're going to be able to at times. Second one falls for White. It's a 16-point lead for Catholic. Full court press on again. Here's LaMonica. With this over to Kolonowski. They have to get past half court. They do. Kolonowski takes it all himself. They'll try to reset the offense here. Here's LaMonica. Fake the three. Going to drive in. Reverse layup. No good. Rebounded by three. Tough one there. They'll find Zarfati now. And now Wildwood Catholic will slow things down and reset. As now Hopping will take the ball. Get over to White now, and they'll slow things down a bit. Very rare for Wildwood Catholic. White now will drive it himself. Over to Thweet. Two-handed slam. Taj Thweet. Largest lead of the night for Wildwood Catholic at 18 points, under a minute to play in the third quarter. Foul called there as Kolonowski is driving to the hoop. Holy Spirit will keep the ball. Just tremendous elevation. Look at this dunk again, the lob, and then the finish from Thweet. His length is tremendous, and you see those two arms. It seems like those two arms are coming from his lower body, and he slams it down. This place is rocking when he gets to slam one home. He has a wingspan that you rarely see at the high school level, certainly in South Jersey, and he takes up a lot of real estate both on the ground and in the air. 
Here's Giorgio laying up a floater. He got it again. Santino Giorgio, impressive all night with these floaters and the outside shots. He's been tough to guard tonight. 68-52, your score now. Here's White going to drive in. He's going to try to lay it up himself, and in it goes. No foul call again. He wanted one. But it's an 18-point lead again for Wildwood Catholic. Kolonowski take one himself, and that one's going to rattle in as well. How about this? There's the answer. Back down to 16. Banks open late in North Wildwood on a Friday night. Zarfati for three. No good. Rebound Kolonowski. 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kolonowski quickly. No hang off for the last shot of the quarter. They trail by 16. Kolonowski himself. That's Glenn. No good. Sell trying to get the rebound, but it's no good. And the third quarter comes to a close. Wildwood Catholic, a 70-54 lead over Holy Spirit. It has become the Taj Thweet, Jaleel White, and Jacob Hopping show. As, Mike, you call it, a track meet. Wildwood Catholic certainly winning it right now. Yeah, balanced scoring, too. We sort of hit on these numbers about halfway through that quarter, and they're still pretty even. White has... 21 points to lead the way. Hopping has 19. Thweet has 19. McGonagall chipping in with six. And that's a three-headed attack that just quite simply, quite frankly, not a lot of teams in South Jersey are going to be able to keep up with. It's been balanced scoring for the Spartans. Nice game so far from Santino Giorgio with 12. And certainly Christian Kalinowski with 16. Throw LaMonica in there again with 10. But just a different level of athlete right now at Wildwood Catholic. Spartans are trying to hang in this thing. Still not all the way out of it, but certainly you're, you saw there in the third quarter what Wildwood Catholic is capable of. As we enter the fourth quarter, we're reminded this broadcast is brought to you by Olmos Appliance Service, and we're streaming online on 97.3 ESPN's Facebook page on Facebook Live. Thanks for joining us, Nick Costco, alongside Mike Frankel. Wildwood Catholic, the defending Cape Atlantic League champions, looking for a repeat this year. They're up by 16 right now on a younger but, I would say, gritty Holy Spirit team here. Yeah, you nailed it. I mean, four juniors in the starting lineup, so they are certainly a little bit younger, and same time, Wildwood Catholic starting predominantly juniors as well. So these two teams could be battling a few times over the next two years. Here's Giorgio now fakes it, gets out of the Kolonowski. Kolonowski lost the ball, picked up by McGonagall. And now he is fouled, reaching there on, looks like they're going to nab Jake LaMonica on Spirit. So another foul on the Spartans. So Wild, Wildwood Catholic, largely the night was 18. Spirit had cut the lead as to low as two in the first half. But that third quarter was a highlight reel for Wildwood Catholic, especially for Taj Thweet and Jaleel White. So White will take it up for the Crusaders. Here is McGonagall. McGonagall fakes the pass, gets it out to Church. Church almost lost it back over to McGonagall. Finds White now. White trying to drive in. Once hopping in the corner for three. Got it again. Jacob hopping another three-pointer. Holy Spirit cannot stop him at all. I just don't know how you lose him, especially at this point in the game. I know Spirit's trying to double team, but that's one guy you cannot leave open outside the arc. 19-point lead, largest of the night for a while with Catholic. McGonagall fell. Here's Glenn now for Spirit. Jarena. McGonagall fell by a three. Faith to try to drive in, and now he is hit. And there's a foul on the floor, and it's going to be on Catholic. 7.02 to play in the ball game. The Crusaders on top by 19. A couple other scores to pass along quickly. Nick, a girls' final, Ocean City, 59-26 over Millville. And at the half, Ocean City in a low-scoring game, up 19-16 over Middle Township. So a couple other Cape May County teams that people might be trying to keep an eye on tonight. Mind you, Wildwood Catholic will be playing Trenton Central tomorrow in the PBA Tip-Off Classic at Ocean City High School. Talk about, talk about a very intriguing game to cap off to tomorrow night, Mike. No doubt about it. Some good matchups over there. Holy Spirit will be in action as well in Ocean City this weekend. And it's another factor, too. I mean, this has been an up-and-down game. These kids, they're a little younger than us, so they can bounce back a little more quickly, but they got to get ready to go again tomorrow. Jarena faked the three, but now he'll take one again. And that one goes down for Isaiah Jarena. The six foot four forward is only a junior. He knocks down another three. Lead back down to 16. Three, right corner for three, way off the mark. And that ball trickled by us and out of bounds. And it's ruled in favor of Catholics, so they'll keep the ball here. Referee Doug Hiltner right here in the corner right in front of us. McGonagall looking to inbound it here. 
Finds Church, thought about a three, but he'll drive in now. He'll lay up the floater, no good. Giorgio the rebound, and he somehow kept his balance. And he'll run through. Jarena thought about a three again. Step back again, wants another three. That one's off the mark. Giorgio rebound, trying to lay one up. But it's stolen away by Thweet. And now White will take it the other way. We got a whistle on the floor. And looks like they're going to nail Kolonowski with the foul along the line. Some other finals coming in here, Nick, on the girls' side. Mainland 49-38 over Atlantic City. Kylie Watson with 31 points, so she goes over 1,000 for her career. Hopping for another three off the mark, and we can't get the rebound as it goes out of bounds, and Spear will take over. And you just mentioned Kylie Watson. She's being recruited all over the place. I mean, it's going to be fascinating to see what her college decision will be, but Mainland's got themselves one of their brightest stars in quite a long time. No doubt about it. She's a great kid as well. Some other girls finals, Middle Township 45-38 over Holy Spirit. Wildwood Catholic 64-31 over Cedar Creek. EHT 58-28 over Cape May Tech. Thanks to Tom Williams and Brian Kniff for those score updates. McGonagall with the steal and the finish. And Wildwood Catholic back up by 18 with six minutes to play in the ball game as Spear calls another timeout. This one really starting to slip, and we saw it in the third quarter there, Nick. And, you know, give Holy Spirit all the credit in the world. It's a, it's a hostile environment. There's no other way to describe playing on the road here at Wildwood Catholic, and it's a team in Wildwood Catholic that had some big expectations. And, you know, both teams played sort of well early on in terms of shot making. It was a little sloppy with turnovers, but Spirit was right in this game right up until halftime. And then we saw the adjustments made by Wildwood Catholic, some minor tweaks by Dave DeWeese. And the Crusaders come out in the second half and they build that lead. Spirit still doing its best to hang around, but at 18 points right now, this one might be close to over. Definitely seems to me that Dave DeWeese did a nice job at halftime adjusting to Wildwood Catholic strengths, which is you play fast and they were able to convert on a lot of these fast break opportunities. You see guys like Jaleel White and Taj Thweet driving to the hoop a lot more often in this second half than they did in the first half where they were more content of taking shots or just hanging out, hanging out down low in the post. Wildwood Catholic, too, in terms of the coaching staff, they almost have a, an ace in the hole, a secret weapon, if you will. Mark DeRogeris is now on staff here at Wildwood Catholic. He was the head coach at Woodbury last season, which, of course, won the Group 1 state title. So not a bad coaching staff over there getting in these kids' ears for the Crusaders. Another reason why they are the favorite to repeat in the Cape Atlantic League. Here's Kolonowski over to La Monica. Now Jarena. Jarena having a tough time. But he dished off the cell. And now LaMonica in the left wing for a three. Down it goes. Jake LaMonica nails a three ball. Cuts the lead back down to 15. Spirit not ready to pack it in yet. They are battling. They're going to battle to the final buzzer here. Good defense there by Kolonowski. But he will get called for the foul. As he was a little too physical there with Jaleel White. 5.29 to play in the ball game. Spirit trying to hang in there. They're down by 15. As we mentioned before, in the first half, they were down by as little as two. White will find Church. But White will get the ball back here as they look to set up the play here on offense. White driving it himself, kick it back out to Church for a three. Off the mark, rebound Jarena. As Giorgio will take it up the floor now for the Spartans. Giorgio, a little shake and bake action. Kicks it back out to LaMonica. Thought about a three. Step inside for a long two. Down it goes. Jake LaMonica, that's two in a row for him. An impressive stroke there. 75 to 62 now. That's not always an easy adjustment in high school to fake the three step in for two. What an effort there. Taj Sweet throwing it down for two hands. And he'll clap his hands with his teammate, Jaleel White. Quite the impressive showing there from White to keep his balance, keep the ball, and he found... Taj Street for the two-handed slam. Again, when that duo is on fire, I don't care who you are. You cannot stop them. We mentioned Aaron McKee, Temple assistant coach. Of course, former 76er in the house tonight to look at a pair of his recruits. I think it was well worth the drive down from Atlantic City to see these guys tonight. Thweet with 21, White with 21. Just a really a solid performance across the board from those two guys. And we should mention Hopping as well, who also is in the 20s. I think Coach McKee has seen enough for Temple, <laughs> to say the least, tonight. Here's LaMonica now for Spirit. He lost the ball. Nice hustle play there by McGonagall. Three try to get. Now it's Church back over to White now. He'll lay one up off the glass, and in it goes. And the foul, so count that bucket. And it's now 79-262 in favor of Wildwood Catholic. White will go to the line 
to finish off the three-point play. Now the replay there. White absorbing the contact. Nice impressive lay in from him. And that's it for Isaiah Jarina. He's a little emotional on the bench right now. A little fired up. He didn't like the call. Jamie Gillespie over there talking to his junior. Jarina had a solid game. You know, we talked about it in mostly the first quarter and second quarter, but he drifted outside the arc. He knocked down some shots. He also banged down low, but he is done for the night. It was 80 to 62, 18 point lead for Wildwood Catholic. Four and a half to play in the ball game. That'll be Glenn trying to limit up, but it's no good. Rebounded by Thweet. And now Wildwood Catholic looking for their largest lead of the game. Should they be able to nail a bucket? Here's Hopping now. Over to White. Followed by the three. Moving around. White driving up to the lane. Cannot get it. Rebounded by Sella. Over to Kolonowski now. Here's Giorgio. Thought about a three. Faked it. And now he'll settle back. That's a long three. Oh, and down it goes. Santino Giorgio from way downtown. Cuts the lead to 15. And he had to shoot that over Thweet, too. Thweet really didn't get a fully a hand up, if you will, but still, that's imposing when Taj Thweet is in front of you. It was a deep three, and you had to try to shoot it over him. It seemed like Giorgio was just was going to dribble the ball out, look for a teammate, and he just chucked one up from a long range and went down and went. All cotton for him. Hoppy will go to the line after the foul. So those are some free throws as Catholic is in the bonus. Giorgio is really a guy, Nick, that's been waiting his turn. We mentioned that Spirit graduated two seniors, two senior guards that really played a ton of minutes in Miller and Gallagher last season. He had to play behind those guys. You could say he's ready for the spotlight. He's had a big game tonight. Definitely shine tonight. First free throw on the one and one is good, so Hopping will shoot the second here. Make it a 17 point lead, he will. Under four to play, Kolonowski here for Holy Spirit. White guarding him tightly. Kolonowski trying to get by. Kicks it back out. Here's a three ball. That will go off the backboard and rebounded by Thweet. McGonagall now over to Thweet. Thweet driving himself. Going to lay one up, and in it goes. Taj Thweet. Give him two more. And a 19-point lead now for Wildwood Catholic. LaMonica, thought about a three. He'll kick it out. We have a foul on the floor. So it's going to be on the Crusaders. So Spear will keep the ball here. And now they are in the bonus as LaMonica will go to the line. A lot of positives to take away from this game if you're Holy Spirit, if you're Jamie Gillespie. I think you're proud of your team's effort on the road. You hung in this game for really a lot of the night before it started to slip away here at the end. And certainly some things to build on. I think he has a nice rotation. He's got a solid group of starters and a couple guys he can count on off of the bench and Sella and Nolan. But these guys are going to develop, even in the loss, a lot of confidence tonight that they were able to hang with why would Catholic for so long? Of course, the final store, anyone picking up the newspaper tomorrow might not notice that. LaMonica, one of two from the line. Here's White now double teamed along the baseline. He is fouled as well. Excuse me, Wildwood Catholic calls a timeout here. And you mentioned it, Mike. Spirit, nothing to hang their heads about here in the second half. I know the game got away from them a little bit, but dare I say, a star might be born in Santino Giorgio a sharpshooter for the Holy Spirit Spartans. Yeah, I think when you talk about Giorgio and Holy Spirit, it's a team that will be right there in terms of trying to qualify for the Cape Atlantic League tournament. Eight teams get in. Certainly, Wildwood Catholic is going to be in the mix. There's a lot of talent in the league. There always is. You talk about St. Augustine. St. Joe of Hamilton is very good this year. You talk about Pleasantville. Uh, Atlantic City is always there. But Holy Spirit's going to be battling for a spot in that tournament as well. And you know, based on what I've seen tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if they got in and maybe got an upset. Obviously, that's at the end of the road right now. We're on opening night, but I think it's going to be a very competitive team this year for Jamie Gillespie's Holy Spirit group. Could be a matchup we see later in the season between these two teams. Hopping will inbound it for the Crusaders. Gets it over to McGonagall. McGonagall double team finds White. <laughs> he was thinking about a really long three. He'll drive in over to three. No, it's granted slam. Give him another dunk. Taj Thweet brings down the house with another ferocious slam. And it's a 20-point lead, largest of the night for Wildwood Catholic. Polonowski now over to LaMonica. Under three to play. Giorgio in the corner. Dish off to Sella. Long three for him off the mark. Rebounded by White. He's double-teamed down the corner. Lost the ball. 
And it's going to be picked up by Holy Spirit. It's Kolonowski. Kolonowski, off-balance shot. In it goes. Nice shot by Christian Kolonowski. They'll cut the lead to 18, two and a half to play in the ballgame. Another timeout on the floor. Check that replay of that dunk. I mean, what can you say about Taj Thweet? Absolutely. I mean, he, I'm afraid he's going to bring down one of these backboards. I was going to say, I hope the Crusaders have a couple uh, spare rims in the basement here <laughs> of the school because uh, – Taj Thweet is a rim wrecker, and I think Matt Ulmer probably has enough dunk highlights tonight <laughs> to last him the next couple of weeks. It's been it's been a show, and, and you knew it would be because he's really been doing this since his freshman year, but, you know, we talk about the high-flying act of Taj Thweet. I've been equally as impressed. We keep saying it with Jalil White and also Jacob Hopping. Those guys are both pouring in buckets tonight. Even a kid like McGonigal, who's really been the facilitator out here, he's stepping up as we see Dave Dewey start to empty his bench a little bit, and Start rest something, starting to rest some of the guys for tomorrow. So White's still in the game for the Crusaders, but a couple subs are in. Jared Hopping, the younger brother of Jacob, is in. Here's McGonagall. Back over to White. Also subbing in is Montalbano. And also Liam Grimes in for the Crusaders. Here's McGonagall. Back out to Jared Hopping. Here's Jared Hopping looking for somewhere to go. Finds McGonagall. Back out to White. White, hanging on to the ball, under two minutes to play. Trying to shimmy his way, finds Jared Hopping, he'll lay one up, and in it goes for the younger Hopping. I'll tell you what, he's only a sophomore. He's getting action now here in garbage time, but he could be a player come later this year, even next season, Mike. Yeah, big bro's not going to get all the shine tonight. Little brother's got to get his name in the scoring book. It's Tillman. Spirit putting a couple bench guys in as well. Here's Seller for a long three. That one's going to be off the mark, out of bounds. And Holy Spirit will keep the ball. Some more subs coming on in for a while with Catholic. Jaleel White will step out to a standing ovation. Dom Caraballo in for the Crusaders, as well as Tom Bowl. That one's stolen away by the younger hopping, but we have another whistle on the floor, and it'll go back the other way after the foul. 124 to play. Wildwood wow, Catholic up by 20. Sella still on the floor for Holy Spirit. Inbounding the ball will be Oaks. He'll get it over to Sella. This is Tillman. Almost lost it. Spirit now will swing it around here is Sella. And back over to Oaks. Oaks looking for a lane. Finds Tillman again. Underneath this is Nolan trying to lay one up. No good. Rebounded by Jared Hopping. Minute to play now. Here's Tom Bull, a six foot one junior. His pass stolen away by Sella. Sella driving the lane, going to drive it himself off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Spirit. Ponteri back out to Sella for a three. Off the mark. Rebounded Nolan. Ponteri wants another three. That one's way off the mark. Another whistle on the floor, under 40 seconds to play. You see and this a lot of times at the end of these blowout games, these one-sided games. These kids are eager to get some shots off, but as we're seeing, sometimes it's better to get into the flow of the game a little <laughs> bit, but they want to get their name in the scoring column. Hey, here under, hey, under a minute to go. Might as well start chucking up shots. You got you to get something going. More subs on for Wildwood Catholic. Matt Vodges checking in for the Crusaders. Nolan's free throw is off the mark and rebounded by Bowl. 35 seconds to play in the ball game. Catholic up by 20. Vodges with the ball for Catholic. Over to Bowl. Bowl making a man miss. Dishes it over to Wareham. Newly checked in the game as well. Bowl. This is Grimes. Bowl content with trying to dribble out this clock as much as possible. Here's Wareham. And they'll keep passing around, Bowl. And that's going to do it. Wildwood Catholic will dribble out the clock here. As we hit all zeros, your final score here tonight on opening night, Wildwood Catholic 88, Holy Spirit 68. A very, 
very impressive night, particularly in that second half for the stars of the Crusaders, Jalil White, Jacob Hopping, and of course Taj Thweet as they took over the game in that third quarter and did not look back. We talked about it. You want to talk about balanced scoring. Thweet leading the way with 25 points. Hopping with 24. White with 24. McGonigal with eight. Zarfati chipping in with three. Jared Hopping with two off of the bench. And Ben Church with two as well. So those three leaders for the Crusaders, almost exactly even in the scoring column, certainly leading the way tonight, a very high-scoring game. And Holy Spirit battled. You know, they battled very well in the first half, not as well in the second half, but they certainly hung in this thing until, you know, the later portions of the third, and it got away from them in the fourth. But leading the way for the Spartans, Christian Kalinowski with 18, Jake LaMonica with 16, Santino Giorgio, nice game shooting the basketball with 15, Isaiah Jarina with 11, Joe Glenn with four, Jack Sella with two, and Colin Nolan with two. One last thing on, on the Holy Spirit, Mike. We saw the potential in that first half. I know it got away from him a little bit, but I got to say, Holy Spirit could be a player in the Cape Atlantic League this season if they could put together a full game like, like they did in that first half. Yeah, you're right. A lot of good things to build on. They're a younger team, just like Wildwood Catholic is. The difference is a lot of Wildwood Catholic's juniors got a lot of experience last year. A lot of Holy Spirit's juniors did not get as much experience. So it'll be a work in progress. A lot of things to build on, but the other side of that coin is Wildwood Catholic already is a very, very good team and a serious contender to repeat for the Cape Atlantic League title. Well, that's going to do it for us. Thanks to the beat. Give uh, thanks out to Matt Ulmer, our, our cameraman, and of course his business, Ulmer's Appliance Service, sponsoring tonight. And of course, thank you for joining us on 97.3 ESPN Facebook Live. For Mike Franco, I am Nick Costco saying so long. Your final score here tonight, Wildwood Catholic 88, Holy Spirit 68. So long, everybody.